Tori Method was killed yesterday by a drunk driver in a tragic traffic collision. Tori was a 16-year-old junior and attended Willow Glen High School. Tori enjoyed playing water polo, working at Jamba Juice, and babysitting neighborhood children. Kimmy was a junior at Willow Glen High School. Kimmy enjoyed playing both softball, soccer, and participating in her church. Antonio was 17 years old and was a senior attending Willow Glen High School. Antonio was planning to attend college and find a good job. Yesterday, a tragic automobile traffic collision caused by a drunk driver took the life of Kathleen Marie Valentine. Katie was a 16-year-old junior at Willow Glen High School. Leah participated in both cross country and track and field. Following high school, Leah was planning to go to medical school to become a doctor. Amber was 16 and a sophomore at Willow Glen High School. Amber loved hanging out with friends, watching movies, horses, and drawing. Andrew enjoyed playing baseball and wrestling. Andrew planned to go to medical school to become a doctor following high school. Yesterday, a tragic drunk driving accident took the life of Akeem Ismail Manis. Nicole Ann Whipple was killed yesterday in a tragic automobile accident caused by a drunk driver. See, Justin's not with us anymore. It's because yesterday, a tragic automobile accident took the life of Justin River Erickson. Yesterday, a tragic automobile accident caused by a drunk driver took the life of Carolina Alejandra Garcia. As you can see, Will's no longer with us. That's because yesterday, a tragic automobile accident took the life of William Hunter Bowman. Deja Lawanda Jefferson, a 17-year-old junior at Willow Glen High School, was killed yesterday in an automobile accident caused by a drunk driver. Adelaide Tafera was killed yesterday in a tragic car accident caused by a driver under the influence of alcohol. As you can see, Leo is no longer with us. Okay, that's because yesterday, Marcos Deandro Urita was killed in a tragic automobile accident caused by a drunk driver. What are you reporting? Hi, there's been an accident on the football field at Willow Glen High School. Is anyone injured or trapped in the vehicles? I don't know. I'm working on the roof at the school, and it's too far away for me to tell. Can you send some help? Uh, yes, we will be sending help. Thank you. Report of an accident, unknown injuries, Willow Glen High School at the football field. Multiple calls, no further information. MSA 9301. 9301, code 3. So we got two unconscious. Uh, both are going to be immediate, critical. And uh, these front doors are, are stuck. So we're going to have to kick the truck in here to cut these open. Don't move your head. 9301 on scene. Two subjects trapped inside of one vehicle. Can we roll fire and ambulance? We have two patients in the car that are trapped victims. Let's make this a rescue response. And I'll be setting this up as. Let's go to get these jeans off real quick, Eric. Let's go to get these jeans off real quick, have you had anything to drink today? Nothing at all. I smell it on you. How much have you had to drink? A little bit. Okay. I'm going to administer some field sobriety tests to you, okay? Do not move your head. This time, Mr. Herbert, I believe you are under the influence of alcohol. I need you to go ahead and turn around, place hands behind your head. This time, you're being placed under arrest for felony DUI. You understand? 
does appear that he has a uh, open skull fracture on his right side and his right arm is severed. He's got a neck fracture as well. The officer um, looks like I do have a name. His name is Joseph Navarro. I regret to inform you that your sister and her has been killed in a DUI related traffic collision today. You know, this is a, probably still hard to even understand that it's. Oh, yeah, it's, I can't really. Tell your daughter Amber, she died in the crash today. Well, are you sure you have the right house? Because I dropped my kid off. I watched her walk across the street to the school. Me and Tony are still both right in the message of it. Listen to listen to you. In the story of Struck in Asia. Um, she was killed instantly. And Nicole was uh, struck and killed right there on the spot. Oh my a student, god! A student was going to school and struck a. Uh, struck her and uh, she died. No! <laughs> and she has died. Oh my god. So Andrew was in a collision today, DUI involved collision, and he's died. He was out in front of Willow Glen High School. Are you sure it's my son? I am positive it is your son. My son's supposed to be in school right now. She didn't make it, she died. This is not a good joke. This is no joke. <laughs> Cody, you gotta be kidding. <laughs> no, I wish it was. <laughs> hey, can you hear me? Can you hear me, dear? Abdominal is rigid upon palpation. Patient's blood pressure 80 over 42. Weak and thready pulses. Patient stopped breathing. She's no pulses. Beginning CPR. What's our ETA? Copy. Oh, we've got pulses back. Patient's still not breathing. We're gonna continue to bag. RT here. Can we call RT? We're gonna need an airway right away. We sell the we pulse. Have the blood products. We have a pulse with CPR. You want to check without? Yeah. You're holding right, CPR. Hold CPR. No cardiac activity. No. Time of death is 11:55. This is Dr. Trigger. Hi. This is Dr. Barnett. Hi. We tried everything we could to try to uh, restart her heart, but unfortunately, we weren't able to. Uh, so she's died of her injuries today. Seventeen-year-old female is in a motor vehicle accident head-on. On you. Two, three. We we'll activate the massive transfusion protocol. Okay, okay. Ultrasound does show positive blood in the abdomen. CPR started. CPR. No cardiac activity. We're gonna follow this. Tiffany's Tiffany's mom and sister. And she had some really serious injuries um, when she came in, and I'm afraid we were not able to save her. Um, she's uh, died of her injuries. I'm very sorry.
Happy birthday, bro. See for the first time 